But it's true, we. But when the time coming, I can feel it. I ain't really let them feel it. Look, what? <laughs> I know my time coming, I can feel it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vicky XV, and I'm back with another story time. So if you want to see what this story time is about, stay tuned, sis, because this shit go crazy. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick synopsis on how um we met. So for the sake of the story, I'm gonna name her my ex Jasmine. So boom, pretty much I was just scrolling, minding my business on Facebook. And I came across her profile, whatever, and I was like, oh, she cute or whatever. So I just wrote her, like, I think you're cute. And then she wrote me back, and we met up. Boop. But before we met up, um, she did have a few mutual friends that I went to high school with. So I definitely um, ran down on them, like, you know Jasmine? Who Jasmine? Jasmine, Jasmine. You know Jasmine? Yeah, I know Jasmine. Oh, I got it. So whatever. So boom, that's how... That's how that happened. So, I don't know how long we were talking for. Um, I'm not too sure how long we were talking for. It's just some things I always forget and some things I just never forget. So, pretty much we like started dating on November 21st. The bitch was with me for a month and six hours. Broke up with me around, no, around December 24th, 23rd. On Christmas, she had a whole new bitch. How, Sway? How do you ever? So I'm gonna tell y'all the tea. I'm gonna put you on. So like we're dating or whatever, like we're hanging out, we're going on dates, we're going out to eat, we're going to movies, you know, we doing shit that couples do or whatever. Um, we're always texting on the phone, going to sleep on the phone, waking up, texting, ah ah. Then a little bit out of nowhere, she just like me, I'm psychotic. But nah, seriously, like I'm psychotic. So I pick up on shit like that. Like, bitch, you're not doing what you normally do. Why? Wow. So I'm like, okay. Um, then on top of that, she wrote a post. Like, I think it was on the phone with my love bug or something like that. And my sister commented underneath the post, like, oh, y'all so cute. I jump underneath the post, like, that's not me. She's not on the phone with me. I don't know who that is, but she's not on the phone with me. Who, who, who's this? So now I'm embarrassed. I'm pretty much embarrassed. She pretty much hit me with the, oh, I can't commit. I don't, I don't feel like I'm gonna give you my all. I don't feel like I can give anybody my all right now. I, I. And as she telling me this shit, the only thing that's going on in my head is, All right, whatever. She hit me with the, oh, it's not you, it's me. Uh, her way. So I'm like, whatever. I look up, look down. She running around with this bitch named Ashley. And Ashley happy in the motherfucker. Skitty, 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 skitty. Happy in the motherfucker. To be jostling around. You pretty much in my head, what clicked off in my head was you, you just stole my bitch. And you think you about to just get away with it? You think you're just gonna steal my bitch and think she's your bitch? Mm. So pretty much her and I, we're not together no more. At this point, I don't even think we were speaking because I was over it. I'm like, bitch, I'm tired of giving these hoes my life and they just keep playing me like I'm some weak hoe, yo. I'm tired. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? Whatever. I still know, I don't have her on Facebook or nothing like that, but I'm still being a creep. I'm still watching everything. And old girl, uh, Ashley made sure that her page was like, I think her page was public for a little bit and then she put it private. But she made sure I was watching the show and I was watching it too. I was watching them go out, do all this, all this other stuff, go on dates. And I'm just like, I was just over it. Then to put the icing on the cake, to throw fucking salt on my wounds, she went and got the bitch name tatted, bro. She got her fucking name tatted. And I'm, I'm at home on the phone with my niece crying. Book is coming out my nose, my mouth running down my chest, hitting my fucking kneecaps. <laughs> and so I was just like, bitch, okay, get it together or forget it forever. More of the story is, I was just like, wow, she done got the motherfucking bitch name tatted, all that, all that. Now, Trickle down the line, Ashley got shorty name tatted. So now I'm like, wow, y'all niggas is doing this, doing this. Now, whatever, I go about my business. I date whoever I date. 
somehow, I don't know why, for some reason, this Jasmine will always wiggle her way back. I don't know how, well, I, I kind of knew how, but will always wiggle her way to motherfuck back. Or some, so I don't know how, out of like, I think like some, maybe like eight, nine months, she like sort of wiggle her way back. Just come back like, yo, how you been? You looking nice. And my goofy ass, yeah, you think so? More of the story is, we did the whole, the whole back and forth. I can't even, that was a triangle shit, okay? It was just so messy and just so complicated. So we've been doing the whole back and forth. It got so crazy to the point where Shorty would see me and her in the same day. Shorty would be on the mother flipping two and the five train, going from uh, <laughs> uptown with, Shorty was dead on the two and the five train with her little, her little thong, 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 right up in her motherfucking backpack, either stopping at her house first and then coming down the line of mine or vice versa. And it was where she was with me and Shorty in the same damn day. You don't believe me? Here's the receipts. Look at her outfit. Look at her outfit. I'm gonna blur out, like, I'm gonna blur out Jasmine's face because I don't want her girlfriend, like, why the fuck you got my bitch on your hell? Her girlfriend might try to fight me. I want my motherfucker guy. And you know me, I'm not pussy, so I'm with it. But anywho, <laughs> let me stop, let me stop. But yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna blur out Jasmine. I'm also gonna blur out Ashley. Ashley, I'm gonna get fucked. She's one you could get. Now, let, let, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop, because we grown. We grown, we grown. But now I'm just gonna blur out their faces just for the purpose of the video. I'm not that ruthless. You feel me? I'm not gonna do that. But peep the outfit. Peep the outfit. Hmm. You see that plaid shirt, boo? This is the part where it gets messy. I wouldn't even say messy. It gets a little weird. It got to the point where pretty much Ashley knew about me. I knew about her. And I knew that Ashley and Jasmine was dating. But I also knew, bitch, you took what was mine. What is mine is mine. You think you're just going to know. So now you think she's yours. Now she's mine. Now every time you think... Ha, her ass just sat on your bitch face. But then, in her eyes, she thinking the same thing. <laughs> so pretty much for all that, we miles all three of us. <laughs> so it was it was completely messy. It got to the point where she was going back and forth between us. She, if stuff don't work out with Ashley, she on my line. If I'm like, fuck that, go to Ashley, I'm sick of your dick. She be right back with Ashley. They even moved in together, got a little mini situation together. And still hitting my line. With this girl, um, during the back and forth, during this, uh, this, uh, what you want to call it, this tug of war, um, Jasmine and I were dating, and she just bought some cute little sweaters, so I posted it up, no, I took a picture of it, and I told her, like, put it as your, um, as your photo cover, she puts this photo right here as a photo cover, when I tell you this photo caused so much drama, okay, Ashley writes from one of her friend's little page, oh, that's supposed to be your wifey. So me being me, like, why are you commenting on somebody else's page? What it is? Like, what, what you thought this was? Me and her get the argument. I'm telling her, where you at? Because at this point, at this point, I'm not going to keep talking. Because after a while, I can't keep talking. Because after a while, those who don't hear, feel. Simple. That's just how it go. So it got to the point where I'm like, yo, where you at? Just send me your Addy. I will smile in my knees like, bitch, get your Vaseline. Get your Vaseline. We about to go fight. We fighting over Jasmine. Get your vest lane. Pretty much, I was vibing. I'm calling Jasmine like, where is she at? Send me where is she at? Mind you, Jasmine know where she at. She not telling me where she at. And that right there just kind of showed me a lot. So after that whole big kaboom, my mother looking at me like I told you. Side note, my mother did not like her. Gigi did not like her for nothing. Because Gigi saw her. Gigi let you know. So, so... Pretty much what put the nail in that coffin was um, even after all of that, um, I was still dealing with Shorty to the point where I was graduating. We was actually graduating high school around the same time. So I'm like, hey, you want to be like, well, she really not saying she couldn't be my prom day, but my mother would prefer me to take, you know, a boy. So the photos will look copacetic and I look like. <sighs> so, um, but afterwards, I'm like, hey, after prom, could we like link up? She's like, yeah, yeah, we could do that, we could do that. So I'm happy, prom over, I got my, I'm like, yeah, I'm going. I'm calling her, calling her, calling her, no answer. She finally fucking, um, no, she, she, she never picked, 
I don't know if she never picked up or if she hit me with the no, I'm sick. We're going to have to reschedule. But I can't do this. It was one or the other. I can't recall, but pretty much she stood me up my prom night. And when I tell you I went home and I cried all motherfucking night. <laughs> at this point, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not doing this. I'm not. Mm -mm. Bye. So um, I graduate high school. Um, I end up going to college. I went upstate. Y'all already know that. If you haven't checked out my other videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. I went upstate. I was living my life in college or whatever. I found me a nice little, a nice little Guyanese thing or whatever. That didn't work out. <laughs> Jasmine saw me living my best life in college. Mm, mm, dancing, partying, doing it. And then she's like, I want to, can I come see you up there? Like she felt like she'll kill two birds with one stone. She wanted to come visit me. Cause we haven't spoken in a while, catch up with me, and also visit the campus to see if that was something she wanted to do. Not particularly come to my school, but if going away, like, would work. Um, so pretty much after that, I believe she visited me, like, maybe, like, I don't know, maybe two or three times I was up there. And that's when she was like, you know what? I like this. I want to get the same experience. So I'm like, yeah, girl, get you a SUNY. It could be somewhere around. Well, pretty much if you're a SUNY, you're somewhere in the state, which is somewhere around me. So I'm like, yeah, we could visit each other. We could like work on us, you know. Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah, yeah, I buy peep. She just be fucking leading me on. I could be like, yeah, I'm gonna get us a rocket and an astronaut suit. We going to Pluto. She gonna be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. More of the story is, bitch, that did not happen. I know this is like her first time in college experience. And about, not her first time in college, but her first time in a SUNY-like setting. So whatever, I kind of get it. Bitch, I go on motherfucking Instagram to see what my bitch is doing. My bitch got bitches in the air like this, talking about my baby. And, 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 and the bitch had her foot up like this, like they in love. Had the, had the bitch up like there. Bitch, you, you never pick me up like this. You never, you never made my foot do this up in the air. Even though you can't because I'm bigger than you. But it's the principle. Why you would got bitches in the air like this embarrassing me? At the time, I had on her motherfucking 14 carat. I don't, even, I don't know how many fucking carat gold that bitch was. Much like I called her. I was working at the library. And I've, I've never screamed. Like, she's, I think she's seen me, like, go off before. Don't get me wrong. I popped on her a few times. But me personally, that right there, that, that was it. Like, fucking... The way I went off for her, I was hollering. Mind you, I work at the library. I was in the back trying to be subtle around these white folk. No offense to my white folk. But I was in the back trying to be subtle. I was in there wilding. My boys came down like, would you like to step outside? I'm like, yeah, sure. Boogies all over my fucking name tag. I'm outside going north. I fucking hate you. I'm tired of shit. Come get your fucking bracelet. Because, yo, I tried to break that bracelet. But gold... Gold don't break. I realized the only thing I did was just break the little latch. Come get your money, money. I was just, she's like, yo, whatever. I'm going to come. I'm going to get my shit. I'm going to get my shit. So pretty much, I think it was some girls from her school were going to Canada. And you have to pass my school to get to Canada. So they was going to drop her off for the weekend. And then when they come back, they were going to pick her up. Which is cool with me because at this point, bitch, you can stay in my dorm. I won't be in there with you. We're not doing none of this together. I think me and her have plans on going to see Insidious 2. Fuck you. I went with my new bitch. <laughs> and that's exactly how I went. I left her ass right the fuck up in my dorm with, not, with barely enough fucking snacks. I barely fed her ass. She was probably in eating my roommate shit. Or, or, or nibbling because I was mm -mm. I was right up in my in my new bitch fucking dorm over there me and my new bitch went to go see Insidious I was out there with her rocking and socking and she in the room like oh you really gonna be in here and you gonna be out there with another bitch bitch I'm talking about is Tati that's my baby uh, nine years in rocking mm. but um so yeah at, at this point I already told Tati what it was hitting for so it'll be to the point where I'll go right to my dorm uh, get my outfit, shower, peek in the room. Oh, okay. Bomb me right at, at Tati thing. So after that, I gave her her bracelet and that was that. After that, mm -mm, it was none of that. We still have each other on social media. Like we comment on certain things like that. But besides that, I think her and I both know like that's... Yeah, guys. So that was definitely my story time about when I was the side chick and going back and forth and forth and that and this and that. It was crazy. If you guys like this story, give it a thumbs up. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Remember to turn on that bell notification. So every time I upload a video, you know. And I'll see you in the next video.